Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on the C4 Cavern. We took on all the team uh, Magma Grunts, and we also took on, well, I hope all the team Magma Grunts. If we missed one, that's okay. We also took on team Magma Admin Courtney for the second time. Second time, uh, first time being the Weather Institute at the second floor is where we battled her first. And then, uh, we also battled Maxi, uh, and Maxi is, well, Maxi is bored that he had shined automatically, and it made Groudon go to the Cave Origin, which is here in Setapo City. We also made it to Setapo City by diving underground and finding it, and raising the surface at the correct place. And then we also got a belly cant for something later that we'll do. So yeah, other than that, I think that's all we did, so let's progress with the story. I have a uh, Metroid up front, by the way. Steven says, uh, Steven, you came to under the scorching sun yet? Yes, oh yes, can you hear out what my friends has to say? Uh, this is Wallace. My name is Wallace, I'm the town's gym leader. It's, I've been entrusted with the production of the Cave of Origin. This sunshine is caused by a power emanating, I guess, from the Cave of Origin. That, that is the red orb. Let's see, follow me. Yeah, I have the red orb. I like how we all walk in like a three line, a three person line right here. It's awesome. Steven says, the sunlight. People in Pokemon need sunlight to live, but why does the sunlight feel, fill us with so much dread? The blazing sun of Sutopolis is intensifying. Soon all of home will be under its withering glare. If the, if that were to happen, he doesn't even think about it. Let's continue walking. Cool. If you come here before uh, you get the red orb and before you be maxing the cave of uh, in the magma cavern, the sky will say it will be blocking. The cave of origin said you can't go in, so make sure you have the red orb and that you beat Maxi in uh, um, in, um the magma cavern. For Sapphire, it's gonna be make sure you have the blue orb, but and beat Archie at the uh, aqua. Uh, Aqua Cavern or something, whatever it's called for Sapphire. And then I think for, uh, Pokemon Emerald, it's the same thing. Uh, well, actually, it's a different story where you have to go in the Cave of Origin and find Wallace in there, and then they'll ask you what Pokemon, uh, can stop, uh, t uh, um, Groudon and Kyogre, because they already fight here in Emerald. It's kind of like a cool cutscene though. But, uh, and we, uh, you see, basically, it's just the flying Pokemon you've seen that's green, that's called Vaquaza, and it's, uh, well, kid, that sky tower is the correct answer when he asks you. So yeah, the cave of origin is ahead. No one from Stopless is permitted to enter the cave of origin, but you must go together with your red orb. You must you go regardless of what awaits you in, inside the cave, which is Groudon. For uh, for Pokemon Sapphire, it is Kyogre, and for Pokemon Emerald, Wallace will be in there. Steven, I'm never expected you to be holding a red orb. You'll be okay with your Pokemon. You'll get things done no matter what. I'm convinced of it. Thanks, guys. You believe in me. Cool. Nice. You can actually... I think when you go in here, you'll need flash, but you don't really need flash if you know your way. Unless I'm totally mistaken. Yeah, you need, ah, oh, shoot, fire. Yeah, it stinks. I should use, can okay, I hug the wall here? I need to find an HM2 here. But the room that got on it is not, um, not like the pitch black or almost completely dark, so that's good. I gotta hug the walls here. Okay, yeah, I can make sure I get the HM07 waterfall here. So yeah. Ah uh, man, that stupid shaking noise. That's probably really scary, actually. So I think the HM07 waterfall is in here. So if you go the way I'm going, you should be able to make it. Um, yeah, there's another shaky, shaky. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't know I didn't have a repel on, jeez. Let's go use our max repels. I start to use our max repels now, nice. Okay, I'm got the, I'm trying to find the HM for waterfall though. I want I don't want to miss it, you know. So up here, uh, so many sh it shakes so many times. Jeez, first time I played it kind of scared me. We get HM seven waterfall, HM seven, which is waterfall. Yeah, cool. Let's let's get Chuck to uh, Metroid right now. Actually, before I forget. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have all the HMs now. Awesome. Cool. Which is waterfall. Yeah, let's teach it to our Metroid. Yeah, Metroid wants to learn to move waterfall. However, Metroid already knows the four moves. Should we be deleted and replaced with all? Yes. Which one should be forgotten? Let's get rid of a, a hyper beam, honestly. Yeah, cool. One, two, and poof. Metroid figured out how to use hyper beam and Metroid learned waterfall. Awesome. Nice. 
So now we have to just find our way to the last ladder, because I'm pretty sure this is the second last floor. There we go, nice. Is I it was like another cringe moment with my original Pokemon uh, Emerald version. Uh, I don't know why I went back to my Pokemon. I was just checking to make sure my shoulders are front. I was like, it's quiet. Wow. Wow. It's silent. Wow. Ooh, and there's Groudon. Wow. Steven's red orbs suddenly began glowing. Glowing, glowing is what I said. It was cringe. It was cringe. I'm sorry. I had to say that in my commentary. I was 13. I'm sorry. So yeah, red orb uh, suddenly being glowing. Awesome. And Groudon's going towards us. You know, I should have saved, but then again, if I have a failed recording, I don't know. I should have made a save. I should have made a. I should have made a. Um. I should have made a. Uh, save state though. Shoot. To save that way. But nope, I didn't. Okay, we're gonna try to catch this on the first try. On the first take or something. I don't know. Drought. Okay, it's gonna. Yeah, it's gonna lower the power of. Uh. You know. Um. Water type moves, but not ice type moves. So that's good. I'm gonna try to freeze this thing. Groudon's level 40, 45. So yeah. I think his moves are Fire Blast, Bulk Up. Um, earthquake and f and uh, slash is what I think that's his move set. So yeah, this thing's two levels higher than Metroid. That's cool. Yeah, nice. I can't believe they get this on the first take or if they restart the whole recording because I can't save. Jeez, while we're in battle or anything, you know. Okay, there we go. Please freeze it. Nope, of course not. If it gets too many bulk ups, that could be a bad thing. You know, honestly. Yeah, sunlight is still strong. Cool. The sunlight is so sh is strong. Okay, cool. Good for the sunlight. Let's go for the um, Ultra Balls now. I don't want to use my Master Ball on this thing. Let's see if I catch it in the first Ultra Ball, just like I did before in my original. Uh, no, I didn't even check it once in my original playthrough of uh, Pokemon Ruby for my channel. My first project ever on my channel. But I guess not. Okay, Fire Blast doesn't do too much. Okay. Well, it gets a little boost because of sunlight too. It raises the power of Fire Type moves, lowers the power of Fire Type moves. So keep that in mind. This is not Ultra Ball. I should really should just use the save save before I actually start this battle with the ground on G's. Oh well, you'll when you learn. Worst thing, like, worst case scenario is I have to start the recording over. So, I don't know. Okay, use an ultra ball, nice. Ah, oh, shoot. You know, it'd be really easy if I could put a status condition on it too, but, uh, I. I can't, because I don't have any status conditioning moves anymore. I could poison it with the sludge bomb and hopefully get poisoned. Or freeze it with ice beam and hopefully get freezing. But I guess that's just not the case. I think it can take one more. I think uh, Metroid can take one more fire blast. That's what I'm going to go for. Although I could use slash and I get crit. crit. I probably just jinx it though. One. Dang it. Let's check one time. We're making progress at least. Slash. Ooh, that's what I was afraid of. Shoot. No. Shoot. Oh man, who's gonna be the best to stand up to this thing? I think I think Smokey is honestly, because fire it resists fire blast and then has high defense on like uh, slash attack. Nice. Okay, let's just keep on throwing those ultra balls. Okay, yeah, cool. Nope, of course not. Earthquake! Oh, I forgot you had earthquake. Jeez, that's stupid. Wow. Oh, I completely forgot you had earthquake. Wow. This is great. This is great. It's gonna sweep me through my team now. Cause just because I can't catch it, you know. Let's go to let's go to Twitch, I guess. All because I didn't do a safe state before the battle. Wow, that's a big mistake on my part. Once we catch this thing, one. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I was gonna hurt. I'm sorry, Twitch. You're gonna be come barbecue. <laughs> that's actually kind of deep. That's kind of dark, actually. <laughs> okay. Yet I'm laughing at it. Jeez. Oh well. Come on. One, two, three. We caught it. Awesome. We got in our first take, and I didn't. I'm not regretting this because we actually caught it, and I don't have to do another take. I don't have to restart the recording or anything. That's awesome. Gotcha. Groudon was caught. Groudon today was out of the Pokedex. Awesome. That wasn't too hard, actually. So Groudon's 199 in the whole index. Number 199, not to put whole index. The name is Groudon. It's the continent Pokemon. It, it's it, it's 11, in, 11 feet and 6 inches tall. Now, I think the highest, the tallest man in America, maybe in the world, uh, is um eight feet tall or eight eight feet plus tall eight feet plus eight 
plus feet tall. There we go. Said it right that time. It weighs 2,940, it weighs 2,094.4 pounds. Its footprint looks like a, looks like a bear. Oh, well, not really. It's just like a normal footprint for the ground, I guess. So yeah, that's, if you thought, you know, that Snorlax weighs 1,014 pounds, I think, you know, Groudon almost weighs double that. Jeez. Groudon has long described, has been, dis Groudon has long been described in mythology as the Pokemon that raised lands and expanded continents. This Pokemon took a sleep after a catastrophic, uh, cataclysmic um, battle with Kyogre. I probably pronounced that word right. Correct. I probably pronounced that word wrong, but that's okay. Do you want to Groudon? Sure, let's name this guy. Let's name this guy Big Red, because uh, we named our rare ward Big Blue, I guess, so let's name it Big Red. Nickname it Big Red. Big Red. Big Red, nice. Big Red was sent to the PC. Cool. So let's go to the Pokemon, let's go to the, um, I'm probably going to just escape up, honestly. I'm too lazy to go all the way back out. So yeah, I'm going to look it up on the PC real quick. So let's see here. Um... Oh, there's a escape rope awesome. I was like, I was like, I know I have a escape rope in here somewhere. So even use the escape rope. Nice. Cool. And the little, the woman right here that was standing right here and here were, are gone now. And that's the guy right here who's boxed away in case you, um, didn't come here with the red orb or you haven't come here with, uh, beating Max yet at the magma cavern or her archie from the magma cavern, from the aqua cavern. Whatever it's called in Sapphire, the aqua cavern is what I'm guessing. Okay, all, st all life starts at the Cave of Origin, and it ends at Mount Pyre. Cool. W where do people in Pokemon come from? Where are the we bound? Wait, what was the last party, dog? Uh, okay, where, where are we bound? I don't know. You're asking the wrong person, man. I'm just a 10-year-old kid trying to uh, beat the Pokemon League and become a Pokemon Master, that's all. So yeah, I think in this house you get a cool TM, a really good team, it's a fighting type TM, it's TM for Brick Break, I think it's team 35, no, it could be, maybe 33, I don't know, actually, it's for 30 years, I remained in stuff with honing my skills, I discovered, I discovered a shadowing TM, I've been, I bequeath, bequeath, bequeath it to you, I probably pronounced that one wrong too, it's team 31, I know it's like 30 something, cool. Seem with the team 31 in the gym, team 31 contains Brick Break, it's a move that's so horrible that I can't describe it. It'll shatter, like, um, reflect, barrier, or white screen, uh, if in a battle if a Pokemon uses it, and, uh, it also is a good fighting type move. What's there not to explain about it, you know? Let's actually, I'm gonna actually teach that to Fighter, so let me do that right now. So I think this is Fighter, yeah, Fighter, let me look at my notes real quick, um, let's look at Fighter the first. A uh, Gecko can learn it, Gecko can learn it, but I'm gonna teach it to Fighter. Should we be deleted and replaced with Quick Bake, it has four moves, yes, okay, which one should be forgotten? So, um, um, Hariyama's final move set is Brick Big, Vital Throw, Earthquake, and Facade. So we have to get rid of Rock Tomb finally. Cool. Let's get rid of Rock Tomb then. One, two, and poof. Fighter figure out how to use Rock Tomb and Fighter learn Brick Big. Awesome. Nice. So with that, that's, that's, that's that I guess. So yeah, I think everyone has their final move set. Let me check real quick. Um, let's see. This is, this is, this is, um, Metroid's final move set. This is, uh, Smokey's final moveset. This is, um, Skarmory's final moveset. This is, uh, Geico's special final moveset. Oh wait, no, actually, I want to teach a Dragon Claw, so I'll go to Pursuits and that. So, like, I think Geico is the last Pokemon that doesn't have its final moveset yet on my team. And then, uh, Twitch's final moveset is this, and then Hoyama's final moveset is this. Nice. So the only move I'm looking for to teach to my Pokemon that's remaining is Dragon Claw, and I'm going to teach that to Geico. But we have to use... It's at Meteor Falls, and we have to use a Waterfall, but we don't have the HM for it yet. So that we, after we get the HM, we'll be able to use Waterfall outside, outside of battle, which is pretty cool. So yeah, um, I don't think I have to sell or buy anything there, so that's good. At the Pokemon, I should say. So yeah, uh, let's go back to the Pokemon Center. To heal up and stuff. So let's see, do I have to store anything on my PC? I don't think I do. Um, I don't think so, but let me check. Nope, okay, cool. I'm just gonna heal my Pokemon real quick. See you guys in a second. Yeah, my repel off right at the last step before walking out of the Pokemon Center, so that's pretty interesting. Um, who, okay. Um, I think I'll I don't think I have to do any off-screen training for now, so that's good. Let's go switch to, uh, Geico first, because this is a water type gym coming up, our final gym, actually. The widow is, uh, Wallace, and Emerald, it is, uh, Guan, though, and Wallace is actually a champion in Pokemon Emerald. 
for the Pokemon League Champion, yeah. Then Geico exists, because, uh, not Geico, but Twitch, because Twitch has a uh, Shockwave. And then, uh, probably, um, Screamer next. Well, no, actually, a Metroid probably next, because, well, Screamer with a Metroid, and then Fighter, and then Spooky. I'm, I'm putting in the order of, uh, of, um, you know, resistance towards water. So, like, Gekko is really good against water type of Pokemon, then Twitch is, then Screamer is, then Metroid is, then Fighter is, and then Smokey is weak to, uh, water type moves, so it's at, obviously at the bottom of the list right now. So, yeah, I don't think I have to put a repel on, because I don't think I run into Pokemon, but you never know. Of course I do! I knew that was probably gonna happen. <laughs> I probably jinxed it. Anyway, that was a level 28 magic up for his mail, so that was pretty cool. Here's Steven Stone again, he's in front of the gym. Steven, we owe it all to you. The sky above Shatopolis has returned to normal. For that, Wallace sends his thanks to you. And that same Wallace is waiting for you inside. He's strong, but, but, but the way you are now, you should be in equal footing with him. Get, give it your best shot. And he flies off in his scarmor there, right? Awesome. So let's talk to the other sign, I guess. Super City Pokemon Gym Leader Wallace. Um, Assist, artist and lover, artist and lover of the water. So yeah, I'm gonna cut the part off right here because I'm already at 17 minutes of recording time. I kind of want to do the gym in its own separate part for once because I always do extra stuff after the gym before the gym challenges. But yeah, so if you look at our Pokemon trainer card, we have seven gym badges now. Our play time is 51 hours and 56 minutes. Wow. So if, technically, we've only been on a journey for a little bit over two days if you think about it. Because 48 hours, because two a days is 48 hours, and then we're, we're almost at 52 hours, so we've been on our, on our journey for two days and four hours. So technically we've got seven gym badges, caught Groudon, beat, beat Team Magma completely, pretty much. And I think we did actually, yeah. Um, he's, if you go back to Mount Pyre, you can return the orbs, or you don't have to really, the red orb, but then Max, you also return the blue orb, because you'll see him there. So that's pretty cool. I might show that actually. So yeah, we've, been on a journey for just a little bit over two days, two days and four hours almost. And we've got seven gym badges, we've caught the legendary Pokemon of the ancient uh, myth and uh, history and stuff and all that good stuff. We got 180, we got 118,713 Poké Dollars, or we've caught 26 Pokemon and a Pokédex, or including evolutions I guess in that case. Our name is Steven, our ID number is again 0125C, I think I said that to be in the game when we started this project and playthrough. So yeah, and I also have Geico up front if you didn't forget, if you forgot, so yeah. So yeah, in the next part we're going to take on the Tepo's gym, and hopefully make our way, do some side quests, I guess. Um, like, for one, we can go back to Meteor Falls, use Waterfall off to get the badge, the Rain Badge, I believe, from Wallace, is what it's called. And then get the TM for, uh, Dragon Claw. You can, you can also catch Bagon in, uh, Drag uh, Meteor Falls, which would be cool, or on the upper level, though. And then we can also go back to Mount Pyre and turn the Red Orb, I guess, so... That's pretty cool. That's the plan for the next part. So yeah, this is Janko again. I would like to mention goodbye and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon movie, Redo Walkthrough Guide.